Van's acquisition had purchased the locally owned company from founder Pete Van last year, after he'd been forced to come back in and take over the struggling firm which was mired in debt. Chief Executive Officer Greg Rugglebruggy says sales have been growing, but he says the company couldn't reach an agreement with Van, who wanted to sell the stores in Missoula, Hamilton and Kalispell. Our rent was raised in January and that kind of should have given us an indication, and then we weren't able to come up with a compromise, so the, the bottom line is we have to be out of all three locations by June 30th. So vans will close in Hamilton by the end of this month and by the end of May in Missoula. All of the company's business operations will move to Bozeman. Rego Bruggy tells me the timing is very unfortunate as sales, especially in Hamilton, have been on the upswing. Well, Hamilton, the team out there has just done fantastic, and the community out there has really supported us. But this store feeds Hamilton as far as deliveries and warehouse space. And so without a Missoula space, it's hard to have a Hamilton space. So, And, and even if we wanted to, like I said, all three buildings have been just pretty much buy them or, or move. Other attempts to find a new location haven't panned out, so the company is being forced to close its doors with just over a dozen employees employees impacted and reassignments being made where possible. Basically try to relocate as many positions as we can into the stores we are keeping open where we have leases with, with people other than Pete Van and uh, we're going to uh, you know regroup and hopefully find a space here out on North Reserve or close to it that we can uh, you know come back into the market. Rego Bruggy is still hopeful of making arrangements to keep the Kalispell operation open in a temporary location and the company's on store in the Southgate Mall will remain open. In Missoula, Dennis Bragg, MTN News.